Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Deidre and today we're going to be doing a 25 minute uh, full body workout, kind of hit style. Uh, I've never filmed one of these workout videos before so this should be exciting. <laughs> So we're going to be doing it through a Tabata timer. I just downloaded one on my phone. It looks like this. You've got different options for your workout and rest time when you're using a Tabata timer like this. So I would strongly recommend if you're planning on redoing this workout, download the app and modify it to your preference. Today we're going to be doing 30 seconds of activity and 30 second recovery. We've got eight exercises. It's going to be a full body workout. I've designed it to be without weights. So just your body weight uh, is all that you're going to need. I have the workout right here. So if you want to screenshot this or pause it and take a picture or write it down. Sometimes people like to have the workouts right beside them. So it's there if you want it. Go ahead and pause that and take a screenshot or a picture of it. Okay, so a couple things. Um, my floor is really squeaky. I tried to find a place that wasn't squeaky and that doesn't exist. So you're going to hear lots of noise and I apologize. I'm not going to be using any music today um, for copyright reasons, but if you want to go ahead and player and music, you totally can. If there's any injuries, if there's any shoulder injuries or knee injuries, I mean, at the end of the day, this workout is just to get you moving. So whatever you're doing works. A really good option for any sort of knee injury or lower body injury, and you don't want to be doing any squats, what you can do is an isometric squat. So you're just going to hold this right here for the 30 seconds. If there's any shoulder injuries, I would recommend not doing any of the push-up options. What you can do instead is lie on your stomach, arms in a T position, and you're gonna squeeze everything back. So it'll look like this. Okay, so that's always a good option if there's any shoulder injuries and you're not allowed to be pushing. And then if any knee or hip, go into that isometric squat. All right, let's just get started. I'm going to have my timer going. We're going to do 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds rest. We're going to start, first exercise will be a lateral lunge. And we're going to alternate legs for this one. All right, we ready? Let's go for it. So right here and up. Now make sure you're pushing back onto your heel. So press the hips back, push back onto the heel, tightening up through the core. We've got 10 more seconds. Listen to that floor squeak. <laughs> awesome. Now for the second round, I will give you an option if you don't want to do body weight. Uh, but we'll wait till the next round. Good. So the next exercise, we've got 15 seconds. It's going to be a push-up with a rotation. So if you have shoulder injuries, don't do this one. Lie on your stomach. Do that T pulsing. If you're good for push-ups, right here, rotate onto your side. You ready? Let's go. Push-up. Rotate. You're going to want to make sure you keep your feet wide for that rotation. As wide as your mat. Wide. option to stack or just keep them wide. Awesome. Good. So we're going to do three rounds of this. <laughs> okay. 
15 seconds. How are you feeling? Next exercise, we're going to find a crab position. So external rotation through the shoulders, tapping our toes. Let's go for it. Right here. Reach, tap the toes, stay lifted out of the shoulder. You don't want to drop down. Awesome. Watch the shoulders. Stay strong. We're almost there. Okay, good. All right, what's next? Burpee. So this one will get your heart rate going. Burpee option to tuck. If burpees aren't your thing, don't do it. Go ahead into that isometric squat I showed you before. If you're good for burpees, make sure when you come down, don't sag at the hips. Ready? Strong. Ten seconds. Good. All right, army crawl. So you can get as low as you want on this next one. The goal is to stay off the ground, right? So I'm going to show you one option. You're going to get down onto all fours. You're going to brace the core, press the shoulders down, and we're going to lift up off the ground just a little bit. Here we go. 30 seconds. There you go. You got this. Woo. There we go. Nice job. Okay. Ab exercise. We're going to go in with leg raises. So you're going to lie on your back. Option to place your hands on the low back. Brace through the core. I don't want to see your low back come off the ground. If you're arching, you're not doing it right. Pull the belly button in. Let's get started. Right here. Pulling the belly button all the way into your spine. We're almost there, team. Good. All right. Last two 30 seconds of effort. We're going to go into reverse lunges. Pick one leg. We're going to do that for 30. 30 second rest. Other side. How are you feeling? All right. I'm not going to lie, I haven't been doing a ton of working out. Lots of running outside. Not a ton of uh, strength training. I don't have any weights at my house. So it's been a struggle. Right here. So you're going to press through your heel. Big step back. Tighten up. Shoulders up tall. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. We're going to go on to the other leg now for 30 seconds. So you want to make sure you're not rolling onto your toe. Stay back onto the heel. 
and you want to make sure your core is supporting you. You don't want your hips to be dropping. Stay really strong. This is your core. That's going to support you. All right. We get a full minute rest after this. Let's go. So even though I said push through your heel, you still want a flat foot on the ground. Nice work. Almost there. Five seconds. <laughs> burn a little bit at the end. Okay, we got one minute rest. Grab some water. So, for the next round, everything is going to stay the same. You can modify it. This is your workout. If you don't do squats, don't do them. Do that isometric squat. If you can't do push-ups, if you can't do pushes, go into that lying T position. If you want to add weights, if you have weights, go for it. That's amazing. I don't have weights. I'll show you what I do have, though. So, I got a big jug of water. I got this for the hurricane um, in September. So, you can use this. I also got a box of wine. That works as a weight as well. A little bit of motivation. All right. Five seconds. We start with our lateral lunge. Big step out to the side, come on up, press back other side. If you're using weights, keep it close to you. Don't let them travel too far. Keep it tight to your core. It's going to put less strain on your spine. Push back. Next one, push up with the rotation into that side plank. So I should have mentioned this in the last round, but you can do this one from your knees really easily. You guys can see. All right, five seconds. So if you're going from your knees, make sure they're behind your hips. So there's your option. Ten seconds. Four. Okay. Next one. We've got our shoulder external rotation crab with a toe touch. So this one, make sure you're not sinking down in the shoulders. You want to be lifting out of the shoulder. Cool? Three seconds. Ready? A bit more of a functional exercise. Brace your core. Make sure it's stabilizing. Stay lifted strong out of the shoulders. All right. Burpees are next. Okay, so round two option, we add in a tuck in the air. This is going to get your heart rate going. Watch your core. Again, as you're jumping down, you're not letting your hips drop. Sometimes I like to add in a squat. I find that that helps with not dropping the hips. Squat up, option to tuck.
good. My neighbors underneath me are gonna hate me. <laughs> Army crawl, okay. So remember, you wanna stay low on this one. Tighten up through the core. Stay as low to the ground as you can. Five seconds. Brace, belly in. Lift. Small movements. Halfway. Fantastic. Next exercise, we're on the mat for our abs. Leg races. Have your hands underneath your low back. Make sure your low back is glued down to the ground. You don't want it lifting. Pull that belly button into your spine. Let's get ready. Belly in. Press the low back down into the mat. If you feel your low back coming off the ground, your legs are going too far. You can do this, hang on. Reverse lunge option to grab that weight. Should I grab the water bottle or the wine? What's more motivating? <laughs> okay, so for this reverse lunge, I'm gonna hold this water right through my center, and I'm gonna make sure it doesn't travel too far. Pick one leg, let's go. We're gonna stay with this one leg for the full 30 seconds. Shoulders stay up. Abs stay strong. Pressing back through your heel. You got this. Now if this is bothering the knees, don't go as low. You can make your movement smaller. Cool. Let's do the other leg. So if there is any knee pain, your option is to just go right here. Make it a micro movement. You're still working on balance. You're still strengthening your quad. If it feels okay, by all means, go all the way down. If you need to work on your balance, hold on to the wall, hold on to a chair. You've got options. Other leg. Up nice and tall, tightening up the core. Hang on. <sighs> One minute rest. One more time around. You guys are doing really good. My floor is so squeaky. It's also not flat. There's carpet underneath. I can feel it and the carpet stops like right here. <laughs> and then it dips. Sick. 30 seconds. I hope you guys are feeling good. I hope this is getting you moving. I hope this is getting your heart rate up. If you don't need those 30 second breaks, if you redo this on your own, make the break shorter. You can always make the workout portion longer as well. That's why it's a good idea to download that Tabata app. It's so good. All right, lateral lunges, option for weight. Up nice and tall, big step up to the side. 
Press back into your heel. Your free leg. It's okay if this guy rotates open. That's fine. Five seconds. Push-up rotation. Again, your option to do this from the knees or stay up on your toes. If you're going from the knees, I recommend that you push up onto your toes first, then drop down to the knees. That's gonna align them properly. So pick your option, come on down. Get ready? Let's go for it. Legs stay out wide. Lift up out of that shoulder. Hang in there. All right, crab toe touch. How are the shoulders feeling? They okay? We neglect our shoulders. Our shoulders need that kind of stability, that closed chain stability. So this is such a good option for that. You can always just hold this as well. This is an option. Let's go. Making sure you're lifting out of the shoulders. Don't sink down. Lift out. Lifting out of the shoulders. Lifting up. Bracing your core. Option just to hold it right here. All right. Burpees. Such a good one. So again, you've got a couple options. Squat, then place the hands down. You don't have to jump. Option to add in the tuck. There at the end, that's gonna kick up the heart rate. Do it for the last round. You ready? Let's get started. Here we go. You gotta do it again. <laughs> Army crawl. Gotta get low on the ground. 15 seconds. Again, another really good shoulder stabilization exercise. Fire up the abs. You ready? Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Make sure your knees and hips stay low. Don't hike them up. Keep it low. Close to the ground. Okay, we're almost there. Reverse lunges. Option to have the weights. Option to just leave it. I'm gonna take my weights for this last one. Pick a leg. All right. You ready? 
Big step back. You don't want to step too close. And then your knees are going to be too close together. So reach that leg back. Press onto the heel of that front leg. Ten seconds. Awesome work. Final time on the other side. So, as I mentioned before, just because you're pushing back on your heel doesn't mean your whole foot lifts off the ground. Keep it glued down and flat. Pressure on the heel is just going to keep you from rolling onto your toes. Five seconds. Get ready. Let's go. Big step back. Holding the weight close to you, best we have. If not, hands on your hip. Races. My timer says we've got one more thing of work. Okay, let's crush the abs. Final 30 seconds, 10 seconds. My bad. Okay, let's do it. Tighten up the core. Hands on your low back. Belly in, keep that strong. Hang on. Okay, now we're done, officially. Nice work, you guys. High five. Okay, we're gonna do just a couple stretches, so stay along if you need to do them. I would recommend stretching though, because probably what you're gonna do after this is sit on your couch and watch Netflix, right? Worst thing you can do for your muscles right after a workout. So let's start with a quad stretch. If you've got something to hang on to, great. If not, Hang on. <laughs> you can focus your eyes on something on the ground. That'll help you balance. So you're going to want to let the knee tuck underneath the hip, keeping the shoulders up nice and tall. You can tighten up through the core. You guys did great. Nice workout. Thanks for joining me. Let's switch legs. Other side. Tucking the knee underneath the hip. Keep, the, keep that same shoulder up nice and tall. If you've got a wall or something to hang on to, you can. I hope you guys are doing well. Hanging in there during this pandemic. Super weird time. I'm starting to go a little bit bananas. But really, I'm just so grateful to have this space to work out, have the internet to film workouts. <laughs> uh, we can lie back on our mat for this next one. We're gonna do lying figure four. So you're gonna cross one leg, lie on your back, hands through the center of your leg, grabbing onto your other quad, and then you're pulling your knees into your chest. So you should feel a nice stretch on the outside of the hip. And then I like to keep this foot flexed. I find I can get more of a stretch. Let's go to the other side. Start by crossing the foot, hands through the center, 
and through the outside. Gently pulling that leg into your chest. Keeping this foot flexed right here. It allows the knee or the hip, sorry, uh, to have a more increased stretch. Good. You can hug both knees into your chest. Awesome job, guys. Thanks so much for working out with me today. Hang in there. Go drink some water. Go make a smoothie. And then you can sit on your couch. See ya.